Welcome to Alex G's Aquarium, everybody. Today I want to give an update on how the UV sterilizer is performing in the 1600 gallon system and briefly talk about a couple of things that I have seen change since this UV sterilizer has been added to the 1600 gallon system. Now, one of the very first things that I noticed when the 1600 gallon system had the UV sterilizer powered up for the first time was that the protein skimmer changed in its behavior completely. Now, I've been cleaning the skimmer cup actually a couple times a week. I've even been contemplating removing the mod that I put in it with the extra center cylinder because it's actually been able to lift the top off of the skimmer at times because there's such a heavy, dense foam getting generated. And while you might not be able to tell very well, the color of the skimming has changed dramatically. Now before the UV sterilizer was added, all of the skimming getting pulled was a really dark brown color. But since I added the UV sterilizer, the color has shifted to a green, which you may or may not be able to see. And in part, I believe a lot of that is it's algae that the UV sterilizer is cooking off, putting back into the water stream, and it's getting sucked out by the protein skimmer. It's been one of the most noticeable differences that I've seen since adding the UV sterilizer. The other thing is the monitoring of my pH. Now my pH has slightly changed. I'm going to show everybody a graph of my apex here. And when you look at that graph, essentially what you're seeing is kind of a nice, kind of smooth curve to the pH, and that's kind of the daily cycle of my pH. It might peak to about 8.0, but usually it's staying in like the 7.8 to 7.9 range on most days. But when I added the UV sterilizer, I started to see a lot of jagginess into the pH, and it's actually risen a little higher in a couple of days. Those are the couple of things that I've really noticed. And since I still have an algae issue going on in the 480 gallon tank, I really feel that's why I'm seeing as much green as I am in the skimmer. I think it's just going to take a little bit of time and effort to allow it to burn itself out, maybe make a couple other slight adjustments, and that algae problem should disappear in the next few weeks to a couple of months maybe. We'll see how that goes. As far as just the operation of the UV sterilizer, I haven't had any other problems with it. I haven't had any leaks coming about in it. The bulb has been firing fine. I did add it to my apex. Originally, I had it just sitting there plugged in just to get the bulb fired up, but I have taken the time to add the UV sterilizer to the apex, along with the pump that's driving it and the refugium tank. And the logic I set up behind it was that if the wattage for the pump that's feeding it goes to zero, then it will command the UV sterilizer bulb to shut off. And that's one thing I wanted to highlight on UV sterilizers really quick. Some of them have got to have water flow through them, otherwise they can literally melt down. And I will say, reading through the Emperor Aquatics manual and, and the operations of this UV sterilizer, it never read anything that said you have to have water flow. But I really don't see a point in keeping that bulb on if there's no water flow, because it's only going to start heating up the water inside of there. It's not going to do any good. I've tested the logic out in the Apex. So far, I've been happy with it. It's working. And this UV sterilizer, when it fires up, it's only drawing about one amp right now. And that's good. So it's not huge on the power consumption, but it's definitely added a little bit of it. That's the update I wanted to give on the UV sterilizer day. Just a quick update. I'll have another general system update on the 1600 gallon system coming up this Sunday talk about all the different aspects about it, where things are at. If you like today's video, of course, go ahead, give me that thumbs up. If you have comments or questions on the UV sterilizer, its installation or operation, please go ahead, leave them down below. Of course, if you want to see more of the 1600 gallon system, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I am really close to having 1,000 subscribers, which is a big milestone for this channel. I really want to say thanks again to all the viewers out there. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit that button, and we'll make this channel a thousand plus subs in no time. Thanks again for watching everybody, and I will see you on the next video.